Can you also talk about uh, what factor should influence the choice between self-managed SQL Server and cloud-managed services like Azure SQL Managed Instances? So now we've been talking about you know, infrastructure as a service where you're managing and building your own SQL Server instances, but there are options in the cloud um, to have hosted SQL Server or really any flavor of um, relational database platform that you choose. So to choose between those, um, one factor might be if you have legacy applications that rely on SQL Server features like cross database queries or SQL Server agent, then a self-managed SQL Server instance might be a better option. But if your organization, if you're trying to prioritize reducing the administrative overhead, then maybe a managed service like Azure SQL, managed instance, or others can simplify things like patching and backups and uh, high availability. Performance and compliance are also other key considerations. So some businesses need full control over their SQL environment for performance tuning or regulatory uh, compliances. And that's gonna be more flexible with the self-managed SQL Server instance.